What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10 things that you need to know before you start playing Diablo 4 at launch. Now the reason why we're talking about this so early is because the game comes out in two weeks and I want you guys to have ample time to start thinking about these steps and also some steps that you guys will need to do as soon as you get into the game. And naturally, we're going to be saving the best thing for last because I feel like a lot of players are going to do this, especially if they didn't play in the beta. So make sure you listen all the way to the end. But all the other ones will be good, too. So let's get into this. Number one, quit your job. OK, I'm going to tell you how to quit your job and still get paid. All right. While, while you quit your job, you're going to go into work. OK, make sure you put a lot of baby powder in your pocket. OK, so right hand or left hand is up to you. I don't know if you're right handed or left handed. OK, as you get into your office. You're going to walk up to your boss. You're going to tell them, I quit. They're going to be confused. As soon as they have that look of confusion, you just take your hand out. You're going to have powder all over your hand. Just slap the hell out of them, okay? Now, the, I, listen, I know you're shocked. But the reason why you're going to slap them, I'll, tell, I'll explain it in a second. They're going to have a handprint on their face, you know, in the shape of your hand. Whether you slap them like this or like this, you know, whatever, right? Handprint's going to be there. The most important thing is that you make sure you keep your hand up, like, Right? You got to slap it from across both nipples, psh, psh, right? Full, full contact. Now, as you have your hand up, they're going to be confused, right? Because you basically just reduce them to a childhood state. And when they look confused, you're going to ask them, look at them dead in the eye. You're going to say, you want another one? And they're not going to know what to say. And so what you say is, well, I'm quitting because I'm going to play Diablo 4 on June 1st because I got the digital deluxe edition and I'm not waiting until June 6th. And I need to make sure that you keep paying me because I had to just spend $100 on this damn game to get in early access. OK, and they're going to be like, OK, OK. And then so you don't have to slap them again. All right. Now, now that we <laughs> we secured your payment uh, for the time, if you guys aren't quitting your job, you want to make sure that you put in for the time off or whatever you need, because Listen, guys, you know, it's going to be crazy for Diablo 4 launch. Um, also, please make sure that you guys pay attention to the server times and get there at least 30 minutes early because if they're doing it like they did the betas and stuff, they've always opened the server at least 10 minutes early. Don't be that guy or gal um, that gets stuck in a thousand person queue uh, because you waited to be on time. If you're early, you are on time. If you're on time, you're late. All right. <laughs> So let's get into this now. Um, real reason this time. Two, you want to research your class ahead of time. Now, I know a lot of people like to go into these dark and kind of figure it out as you go. Um, this is really, really important if you guys plan on playing hardcore and or PvP. The reason I say that is because at first glance, if you guys have happened to see the skill trees in Diablo 4, it doesn't look that complicated. But let me assure you that there's a lot of levels of intricacy that you probably don't think exist that will really, really help you progress a lot faster if you're aware of how the system works. So using things like a Diablo 4 talent or paragon calculator that you're able to kind of spec out your character or build a character or see what the skills are going to be in the game is really going to help you, especially if you plan on playing from a competitive leveling or competitive standpoint against other players. Unfortunately, when you guys get into the game, you know, in the first 72 hours, it's going to be about who levels up the fastest and gets the best gear. That's probably going to be dominating the PvP. So in order to leave yourself in a much better position, you want to do your research ahead of time. That brings us to number three. And number three is going to be to understand your stats. Now, this kind of ties into the last thing that I said. And this is also really important why you want to research your classes that you plan on playing because stats influence different classes differently. And they also influence how you're going to build your character. So, for example, if I was using a barbarian and I wanted to focus on building a dodge tank, then dexterity is going to be incredibly important to me. Or if I wanted to focus on a tank build, a high armor, then I'm going to be focused on strength. But paying attention to each of these stats and how these stats are going to influ influence the class or style that you're going to play is going to be incredibly important to understand before you get into the game. Now, the next thing, guys, is I want to make sure that you guys understand that playing with others is actually a benefit. You guys get an XP bonus, okay? So even if you don't like people, you don't want to play with people, just have them within a certain radius so they serve their purpose so you can get the amount of experience that you need. If you're trying to level from a competitive standpoint, then you want to make sure that you're getting as much experience as you can. And with that being said, it brings us to the next one, which is number five, which is understand that there are consumables in the game. OK, craftable consumables. Um, it took me a long time to realize this because I wasn't paying attention. I was just skipping through. I just wanted to kill stuff. 
but consumables come in the forms of town scrolls, XP potions, things that boost your performance for your character, especially for tough boss fights. But these are things you're going to want to be aware of or start looking into before you get into the game. Now, as we get into number six, we're talking more specific in-game mechanics. Now, understand that, as with all Diablo games, it's quite a bit of RNG. If you guys plan on playing hardcore or if you guys are looking at progression, things are random and they take time. So some playthroughs with characters might be exponentially easier than playthroughs with other characters. But when all else fails and RNG fails you because of your bad luck, use the trading system in the game with your friends, okay? Leverage your time. Now, while you're leveraging your time, though, and you're in combat, one thing you definitely want to be aware of is that each class has its own healing ability for self-sustain. If you guys plan on playing hardcore and or PvP situations and or just tough normal PvE situations, your ability to understand that your class has a healing ability that you can use to keep yourself alive will make the world a difference, especially until you're able to upgrade your potions and or just get to the point where you don't need the self-healing ability anymore. So the next thing, don't worry, we still got a couple more and we saved the best for last. But the next thing is you guys are going to make sure that you get your god dang horse, okay? Do not be this guy and wander through the entirety of the game wondering why you're running around the entire map so slow and everybody's getting everything done. Do yourself a favor, get through the story quests long enough for you to acquire your horse so all of your characters on your account will then have a mount. Trust me, you'll thank me for this, <laughs> okay? But this is definitely something you guys are going to want to do when you guys get into the game. Rush the horse, then rush the game. Now, while you guys are rushing the game, there's a big thing that I think a lot of players will fall into, and that is going to be speed farming dungeons, especially since dungeons reset so fast. What I invite you to do, though, is not get caught up in the dungeon farm, or well, same dungeon farming, and make sure that you do all the dungeons to get the unique aspects first, and then go back and farm for experience later. Now, last but not least, Big Ten, this is the most important thing, all right? If you are a player that is similar to my playstyle, meaning you don't want to waste time talking or learning about people's backstories or their zodiac sign or their personality or any of that, and you just want to get in there and start slaying zombies and ghouls and berserkers and all kinds of craziness, please do not write off your story quests, Okay. The reason why I say this is because once you get to a certain point, level 15 typically, they're going to send you a notification. Hey, do this quest. And you're going to look at that quest and be like, I ain't doing no damn quest. I'm focused on killing. But I need you guys to understand, especially if you guys did not play in any of the betas or you guys don't understand how class specializations work. When you do your class specialization quest, it opens up the rest of your character potential. So if you guys are in a situation where you're looking at yourself, once you guys get into the game, you're level 25 and you still don't have your class specialization and you're wondering why you're performing so much worse than everybody else, it's because you were so focused and so diligent on thinning out the population of Diablo 4 that you didn't do your class specialization quest, okay? <laughs> this is a pretty new feature in terms of Diablo games, but it's probably the most important one. So I wanted to make sure that you guys were aware that this was a thing before you guys come into the game. So with that being said, guys, I just wanted to take a little bit of time, maybe make you laugh, talk about some key things that I want you guys to be aware of as we start gearing up for launch so you guys don't make these mistakes when you guys get into the game so you guys are prepared as possible. But with that being said, guys, that's all I wanted to cover today. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below, and I'll be happy to assist, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.